Om Tat Sat, my humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mainandaji Maharaj, to Sage Narada and all other sages and saints, and to each of you divine soul watching today's satsang. So today we will be covering Narada Bhakti Sutras, chapter number 4, Glory of One-Pointed Devotion, and we will be studying Sutra number 73. Commentaries by my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mainandaji Maharaj, narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So let's get started. Chapter 4, Sutra 73. Yatastadiyaha, short sutra, again let's repeat. Yatastadiyaha, meaning because the devotees belong to him or God. So a devotee must practice the attitude of self-effacement through loving surrender as well as the attitude of beholding God as the basis behind all names and forms. In this way, he should become a flute in the divine hands. That should be our sincere prayer. No matter what the flute's appearance, the melody of love is ever the same. Once it touches Krishna's lips, divine music flows. In spite of the differences in caste, sex, beauty, wealth, country or religious faith, highly advanced devotees belong to one religion only. That is called the religion of divine love. To one philosophy, the philosophy of non-duality. And to one caste, the caste of humanity. So this is what happens to highly elevated sages and saints while the rest of the people are only fighting about religion or caste or this or that. They have left that train and they are on a different realm. A mind filled with divine love cannot entertain pride cannot have contempt or prejudice or intolerance or animosity towards anyone. A true lover of God brings about utter self-effacement in his personality, starts to, um, nothing belongs to his little ego. He doesn't think he's doing anything. He just loves to become a servant of God, a dasya bhava, etc. And so he belongs to God and God alone as the divine will flows through his personality. Just as the limitation of a mirror does not mar the beauty of the moon that's reflected in it, so the limitation in the outer personality of a devotee does not mar the grandeur of the divine revelation that unfolds in his heart. So we should not judge anybody by their looks. We should see the feelings and their devotion and their actions. And that is very important. And we will cover Sutra number 74 tomorrow. Om Tat Sat.